guess what? The Minimalists are going on tour with a live version of The Minimalists podcast. And I want to invite you to join us for a night of less. Find your nearest city at theminimalists.com slash tour. We'll see you there. So, so Jeanette, you, we, I think this is true. You, you have people who are really rooting for you. They want you to succeed. They yeah. want to um, watch whatever you're doing next. But there are also other people who, who it seems like no matter what you do, you can never do right in, in their eyes. Why do we think that is? It's, it's an interesting area because I think like I can speak, I guess, specifically to the kind of like child stardom, teenage stardom thing. Because uh, I feel like that's what people are even more interested, like people are even more interested in seeing a former child star mm-hmm. fail, right? Like mm-hmm. I, there's like Lindsay Lohan, Britney Spears, I mean, Macaulay Culkin, Justin Bieber even. there. It's like there's the, the idea of pulling down their narrative and making them into this crazy, like men- person having a mental breakdown. I don't, I don't understand the fascination with it. I wish that wasn't the case. Mm-hmm. I think it perpetuates whoever's experiencing probably some real mental health struggles. It makes it worse for them. I wish mm. that society didn't do that to people. It bothers me so much. Um, God, it bothers me so much. I don't know what needs to change or how it can change. I was actually watching a documentary on Lindsay Lohan the other day and a paparazzi dude was interviewed. He was like, somebody was following him and he's like, I don't get why she doesn't like me. I don't get why she doesn't want to smile for the camera. Like, shouldn't she love this? I'm giving her attention. Shouldn't she love this? Mm. No, you're chasing her down. Like you're following her. Why would she love it? It doesn't make any sense to me, you know? Yeah. Well, and, but I think it makes sense to him because that's what he wants. He wants someone to, he wants that level of attention or at least let me, let me rephrase that. That's what he thinks he wants right. until he gets it. Now, Ryan and I have this weird sort of level of we're not famous, but we are well known enough that occasionally people recognize us. Oh, what I get recognized all the time when I'm with Josh. <laughs> <laughs> that, well, that's what I wanted to ask you guys. I was curious how much people like, it, like, is it normal for people to shout out their windows? How often does this happen? Yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. it's five six times a day maybe but yeah. it's not it's not enough where it's like if i'm walking through a crowd it's one out of 50 people maybe okay. and so like it's not it, but you never know who that one out of 50 people are right yeah and, and if it's one out of 50 people who say something then it's what another four or five who don't say something mm. but still it's the vast vast majority have no idea who we are and i'm i'm completely contented with that but there is a there is a level and it's sort of like it's sort of like grains of sand like how many grains of sand make a beach right like Mm. at some point there's a level where it is a beach but you know one grain of sand is not a beach like what is the level of notoriety that makes a person famous Mm. i don't know but from a very young age you had to deal with with being recognized and 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 uh, how were you how did you deal with that early on it was not easy i think some people are naturally just kind of good at fame like maybe their personality type or fam history i'm i i'm not sure what makes a person good at fame but i was i felt incredibly anxious like there was there was a time now it's totally it's completely manageable it's not difficult at all it, it doesn't feel like a hindrance on my life but there is a time from probably 14 years old to 22 where I couldn't leave the house without, you know, without paparazzi, without mm. just hordes of people anywhere I went, any a grocery store or, you know, wherever. And I I think it made life so difficult. I, I mean, I, I don't think young people should be allowed to be famous. Like right. if there's somebody who could come in and say, no, they can't, this is, they're not mentally capable of handling this. I think that should happen. Um, Cause I, it just, you know, the thing with former child stars having breakdowns makes so much sense to me because I think the world that you're thr- thrust into kind of like puts you right in line to have a breakdown. Yeah. Well, there's this thing, it's it's so abnormal to have people follow you around and want your, uh, want to capture the moment with you. Mm-hmm. But then at some point it becomes normal to you, even though it's still a very abnormal thing. Mm-hmm. And I think when it becomes normal, especially to a kid, man, you are setting that person up for failure mm-hmm. as an adult because then there's one of my favorite lines from a book uh, called Freedom by Jonathan Franzen. I don't know if you read it, but uh, one of the characters is a musician and he's famous and he talks about fame being the thing that he 
never want that he doesn't want but de- also doesn't want to live without hmm. mm. and it's like this weird sort of thing where like you you don't want that but also at the same time if he were to lose it he would maybe lose a part of his identity in a way y- your identity might hmm. get wrapped especially as a kid get wrapped gets wrapped up into that who i am as, as a person is this this famous entity maybe so i always saw it like I don't relate to the. I definitely just did not want to be famous. I didn't. I didn't like the experience, and I couldn't wait till I could just like, you know, put that aside. But um, yeah, I wonder what he was finding, like what he was latching on to in the fame. I guess the identity thing makes sense. I feel like particularly for actors, maybe there's there's a bit of an identity crisis with being famous because you're famous for something that's not you. Like maybe it's easier for Oprah or somebody who's like doing something they're proud of and it's them and, you know, or I assume she's proud of. Uh, I hope she's proud of what she's done. But I think if it's acting, it's sort of like you're known for this thing that's not even you. So, you know, who am I underneath that? And would I be famous if it were just me? My character's the famous thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think there's a lot of... I'm sure people are like, hey, Sam, or, or whatever, yeah, yeah, right? yeah. like all, all the time. Yeah. Right? Oh, wow. mm-hmm. and, and with us, it's similar. It's never, very rarely it's like, hey, Josh, or hey, Ryan, it's, hey, minimalist. Dude, uh, when I get a lot of time, they're like, are you one of the minimalists? And I'm like, yeah, they're like, I don't know which one you are. <laughs> <laughs> but I know you're one of the minimalists. You know, I think the the thing with the line you were quoting from Freedom is that we all need some significance in life. Yeah. So fame, uh, I think, will certainly give you that feeling of significance in people's lives. So maybe that's mm. what he's trying to hold on to is that that significance. So maybe, yeah. you know, the answer to like that, that whole uh, that sentence that you were quoting there was, you know, find a way to be significant in a meaningful way. Mm-hmm. And maybe that's maybe it. And it's it, well, the significance thing is also what Lauren's question is talking about here. Why yeah. do people tear other people down? Because they want to feel Dude, it's significant. It's so yeah, common. Yeah, There's yeah, a yeah. Schad- Schadenfreude is the word yeah. like because it's such a common thing. Right. I, I think I think right. I think one of the reasons why people like to see people fail is because they will see someone like a child actor, for example, and how good they are at their craft how happy they are how they have the the rich and you know famous lifestyle but then when they fail they can say to themselves ah oh, yeah i knew it wasn't that good yeah, yeah, yeah i knew yeah. it because like a piece of them want that but then when they see someone fail they're like oh maybe oh yeah i really didn't want that because it's it's uh it's not all that it's cracked up to be 